Are oh, you lucky? More cav coming in now from the attackers. So is that Ugarai? Ooh. Ugarai just got a quad kill. Excellent charge coming around the side in charging. Oh, shield wall! Right, we're back in, boys. I told you, didn't I? As soon as I get up to go and grab some to eat, the, the battle would start. Brilliant. <laughs> ah. Toggle sloth blue. Toggle plebs red. Right, let's see what's going down, shall we? So the plebs have four moles, two short swords, a glaive, a couple of polaxes, three muskets, a longbow, a jewel blade, amya, the pest that the amya is, <laughs> and wincro with the pike. The sloth blockers have a good chunk of short swords, a pretty big chunk of polaxes as well, which is interesting when you think that they don't have the DC immunity rune anymore. And there will not be a sally out. They do have four sets of javelins, five sets of javelins though. Obviously plus two sets, three sets of falconetis. So plebs are actually going to defend A and they're going to stop the, the they're going to try stopping the towers getting it. Looking at this, they've got, no, they've got six sets of javelins out. So two per tower, three sets of falconetis out, one per tower. Uh, possibly sons of Fenrir just to get out and maybe be annoying on the floor. We'll see. Plebs are going to do a full-on defense of the A point, which is something I was not expecting to see on this map. But Plebs are going to go for it. Obviously, with Falcon, it is in the fight. Taking down those towers is going to be easy work. They've obviously got their artillery as well, with two sets of javelins per tower as well. So a lot of damage to get put on each tower. Falcon is as well, all on the back wall. So they're basically safe. <clears throat> <coughs> Apologies. <clears throat> My biscuit went down the throat the wrong way. So Balger's already died. Big mistake climbing up there. Preb Frat coming for Temple Shots. Uh, Falcon is. I don't think he lost a single one there in the background. I think he managed to pull them back just in time. Tempo shot is terrible. Look at that hat as well. Like, holy crap. He's like not only like one of the worst players in the game, he also has the worst taste in the tires. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Second trip coming in for another set of Falcon it is. Um again, no damage done. Maybe he lost a slight bit of health, but they'll they'll be good, man. Nothing is going on apart from the defenders just lost the hero. Who just died for the plebs then? Ickus is. Do you know the guy playing longbow? Is he playing clave? Oh, Boom is playing clave. He's playing longbow then. Interesting. So far, a hero apiece. Um, the fact that these. I was saying that they're going to try waiting for him to be as close as possible to just waste even as much time as possible, aren't they? They are going to be able to get the, the ram in. This tower's about to drop as well. All towers have dropped. This is going to be rough, man. How? how? Another I Malta dying for, for no gain. I would not be surprised now to see plebs pulling their units back to the resupply to get enough ammo so that they can do the exact same thing again. Ram is going to get in though, and then because they've got so many javelins and falconers and stuff, it's actually going to be a fairly easy push, I think, to get them to the A point, if they do it properly. They have got a decent couple of units here that can uh, hold a line, like the Imperial Shields and stuff. Reapers obviously as well are going to do work, but if they get a full 15-man melee push on, they are going to get crumbled real quick. But I do not think they're going to get a tower in, not until they get A captured. By that point there's going to be so much time that's going to be in, been gone already as well. Master Dam, how are you doing bud? And Aaron or Evening, and so Diarrhea versus the floppy shit, nice. Yeah, I mean the floppy shit has sweet corn in it though, so you know. Mex has just been killed as well. 
so far the hero deaths is kind of even. Well, I can't, it's bang on even, 2-2. Two, two. Unit wise, 15 attackers have died to defending units. Temple shots, Falconer is our safe again. A number of the attackers are sending their units back to get ammo. Uh, it looks like Sloth Blockers are climbing the back wall to get rid of the Falcon Netties. They should maybe just push through with a fucking melee push and just gone up the back staircase. But, um, Sons of Fenrir are just murdering the heroes climbing the wall. <laughs> they do get a trap down though on these. I think they're probably going to get moved in time. Clips the back of the unit, kills like a unit or two. Uh, there's a couple of guys in the back here getting the resupply. I suppose that's a good move. They can't uh, resupply ammo then they can spawn the wall and clear it fairly easily. Javamul is going to get in there. Oh, it's going to be too slow, but they're not going to be able to get new units. So Header and uh, Toxos try to do some work back there. They are now going to get maybe a tower or two in, though. So they have done their work. So the left tower's up and the right tower's about to land as well. The right tower has landed. So the distraction could actually pay off here. Header's managed to survive as well. How is that even possible? None of the heroes are on two deaths so far, apart from I Moltar. Toxos just died in the background as well. He possibly might run two deaths now as well. So the hero disparity is now 8-4 or 10-4 even. Five minutes left though. Um, Clebs are already swapping out a lot of their javelins and units that just aren't holding. The units that can actually fight along the wall, I believe. Or are they fully pulling back now? It looks like they're getting melee units to fight on the wall though. It doesn't look like they're actually going to pull back. It looks like they're uh, changing out units that can actually hold or like make a fight on the wall. Right, so we've already looked at like one of the shittest players in the game. Where's the other one? Let's get a close up of the other shit player. Here he is. Well, then Falconetti shots coming in those. That's a temple shot slot. Only like a unit left or two now, though. So a big push cut went up on this right hand side for the attackers. Realize they didn't have the minimap increased. Apologies. Um, looks like they're going to try plugging the hole here and then moving across onto A. Boss might be, I get this, is that the only, it's only four minutes though. Foxos and Dunkle are going to get killed at the bottom here. The Kaboomin just died as well. They are capping A, they've got enough at the back here to stop a push coming through. And it looks like they've got enough at the middle here as well to kill the guys pushing. Ooh, them flames though. I think it's from Man U, are going to do absolute work. Ijin getting straight in there, that Treb's going to be good as well. More units coming from behind to just clear the rest of it. That was that was actually really nicely done from Sloth Blockers. A points nearly being capped. The uh, plebs have beat the push on the eastern side or the northeastern side of the map and now filtering back through to A. I still think Sloth Blockers can do this though. They definitely have the units up. Prebbing a big blob of units here is going to do work for them as well. And I don't know if plebs are going to be able to supply in time to stop them from capping A. There's apparently a unit on A. Manu's just got in as a mall as well. Somebody needs to get rid of him. There's enough heroes there that he should die fairly quickly, to be fair. Boomin's getting in there now as a Glaive player. Dunkle's getting in there as well in a second. They might have enough guys filtering in that there's nothing they can do. They've got Iron Reapers up here now as well. Berserkers. Okay, they're going to clear the point. There's only two minutes left. I think the attackers are going to struggle now. I think it's GG. Guys trying to stay alive. And that was Ijin fell off the wall and died. Fenrir need a nerf lol. Yeah, Fenrir like that when they're stuck from one target. They're absolutely brutal. And because they're such a cheap unit as well, it's hilarious. I mean, the attack there from Slothbuck has actually nearly capped the May though, so... Pretty nice as done. Maybe instead of pushing so far in here, they should have moved down with the units and sat here. So that when they did push, they could have treaded them all coming down the stairs or something. Might have been at hold a little bit longer there. It looks like Slothbuck is going to try going full send on this right hand side. They're not going to be... They've, got, they've not got the time. They only need, really need to tap A to get it capped. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a couple of the players from, from Plebs just stay on the point, just save. 
Toxos looks like he's going to actually try and get on there, but Amya's there. He's not going to get up there. So the fight's going on down here now. The, the, the last brawl of the game, let's say. Uh, Shenji Bomb's going off, Flame's going off. A lot of heroes getting involved. Obviously, Sloth Blockers have a lot of short swords. They're going to struggle with um, the killing power that they would need to get rid of as many he enemy heroes as possible. Decent amount of trebs coming in. Them flames are doing work though, man. There's enough stopping the heroes from sloth, uh, from sloths, from plebs getting in that they can actually get their work done as well. Very nice push, but unfortunately not enough time. Amya coming out with his uh, winged assize, I believe. Yeah, Amya's coming out with his winged assize. He's obviously not going to be doing anything because everything's a fall on the wall. Uh, 48 seconds. So if they could technically kill... Oh! If they had a mole here... The pike would have been gone and they'd have had it. Tempo shot playing longsword is going to be difficult to deal with. You've still got Amya there as well. Oh! Oh! They've got a lot of units coming in though. They might be able to clear this. Oh my god. How are they not... Oh my day. This is going to be close. This is going to be so close. They've got a lot of units here. But again, there's so many short swords. They just cannot get the kills in. They've got 10 seconds to clear the point. They need like a second on point to win. I mean, is that to pull off? You've got a musket here trying to get out of the way as well. He's died. They've captured it. They've captured it. Oh my days. That was so close. All right. Now they've got four minutes. Uh, unit wise, it's 693 for plebs against 600 for the attackers. Both have lost roughly the same amount of units, to be fair. We're going to double check you, uh, heroes now. Obviously, they're clearing the walls, but we need to see what's going on. 24 to 29. Uh, Bali is out the game. So is I Malta and so is Youngs from the, from the attackers from plebs. They have Kick and Wing Crows out of the match. And that's it. So advantage is definitely to plebs, hero-wise. Unit-wise, also plebs. But Sloth Blockers might actually be able to get through here, man. They might be able to get down to A and uh, to, to B and C. But this is like the, the easier side to defend. And because Sloth Blockers don't have time... They have to just push down the stairs, probably, and try and get into B. It's the only way they're going to be able to do it, and they're going to get sandwiched from everywhere. you got Winged Asars in the back down here as well. Um, it's going to be difficult to deal with, man. Slide QTs on his Falconettis. Amnu with Iron Cap Swordsman. Brutal unit if that can get its uh, charges off multiple times. They're going to go for the reset. They don't have time, man. they got two minutes. Interesting. The 12 against 14. Right, obviously, plebs can see the rotation. Um, they should know that they've got a hero advantage. Cloth blockers do not have time to do anything fancy. They're going to have to come down here. They're going to get point blank uh, falconetted in the face. They've only got two sets of trebs up. They could maybe try trebbing here though. It's harvest time. Javamul in the background here for plebs as well. He can start putting pressure on the, the sloth blockers from behind. I think he's going to try and get to the falconetty. So the main fight's obviously going down on the supply point. Um... Sloth blockers actually managed to push off the bottom of the stairs. I thought they would get completely stopped. Decent charge coming here from Wing to Sars. Decent charge. That was an amazing charge, actually. That cleared basically everything off. And that's GG, boys. Only eight heroes left for... Seven heroes left for Sloth blockers. Slick six heroes left for Sloth blockers. Uh, plebs are pushing up the stairs now, clearing everything else out. And it's GG. Well, bloody done. 30, 34 to 26. So the hero deaths is actually very even when you think of it. That's only eight heroes difference at the end of the match, basically. Mm, again, this match without the free death thing, without the CBL rules, would be so different. Like, so different. Sloth blockers there with a full 15 man team might have actually been able to do something with that. That's a shame, man. Very well played, though, from both teams. Very well played. I don't think uh, plebs would have been expecting such a strong performance from Sloth Blockers. So GG, boys.
Oh wait, Lewin. I got told. Was it Alex? Somebody, I'm pretty pretty sure it was somebody called Alex told me to tell you your shit. Yeah, by the Alex said to tell said I should say that you shit. <laughs> I'm only passing along the message. <laughs> Well, first round goes to plebs. Very, very strong defense there. Like, that was so close on the A pusher. That could have been all over. Slide QT with MVP for plebs. Temple shot. Saying he's, I'm such a good player. Literally had to fucking bribe Vasectomy, so Vasectomy did even worse. I'm telling you, Vasectomy normally is up here somewhere. And he's fucking been, he's, he's crumbled to the bribes from Temple shot. The guarantee that Temple Shot isn't isn't last place yet again. I I see what you're doing, Temple Shot. I I, I see. Eight. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Kick a Wero as well. Five zero eighteen fifty three. Very nice uh, goal there. Am you not been able to get use the use of his cavalry out as much this game? Look, only ten units, but fifteen heroes killed. That is absolutely huge. That's like a full team of people he's killed there. And when you think they can only die three times per person, that is absolutely massive. So GG, uh, GG Am you there, man? Even without getting his, his cavalry charges off, um, the first fight as well was very even, man. And then. The first fight was even, but Plebs just won it. The second fight, Clofs won. Then they just managed to cap <laughs> cap the point, like literally just, and then got annihilated on the very last push. But well done, man. And Arcanine, thank you very much for the follow, my guy. Much appreciated. And I didn't do the bloody MVP for Sloth Blocker today. Apologies. So Toxos, 1, 3, 12, and 68. Mm, got a wedge. Well, I got three Sifroth Noi, two Falcon it is as well. Didn't go over that with the plebs guys, but I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, we'll just say it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> God Hashi, 18 Shenjis and two Sifroth Noi. Let's have a look. It's five QT get money. You got seven Sifroth Noi and six Shenjis actually. That's actually huge. And how did I not see that before?